An overnight security guard by the name Alvaro explains that around 2.30 a.m., he noticed someone standing by the front entrance doors watching him. Hola, eh, me filmo para dar constancia de esto porque está pasando algo muy loco, muy loco. Yo hace años que trabajo de noche, nunca había algo como esto. Estoy todos los días sentado ahí, 12 horas, 12 horas. Eh, esto es muy loco. Miren, no se ve nada. No se ve nada. Lo que yo veo ahora, la puta madre, es algo muy fuerte, nunca pasó. Estoy asustado, pero posta. ¿La ven? Llegan a ver, hay una mujer en la puerta del edificio. Una mujer al lado del portero eléctrico. What looks like the figure of a woman can be seen standing by the door. But as he gets closer, nothing's there. No hay nada, ven ahí, no hay nada. No hay nada. Pero cuando yo veo las cámaras, me aparece la mujer por las cámaras. ¿La ven? Una locura. La primera vez en la vida que me aparece esa mujer. Y no son efectos de luces, uno puede decir, bueno, es el contraste de la luz con el vidrio y la chota, pero no sé qué pasa, que esto nunca apareció, nunca, nunca. La primera vez que me aparece, estoy acostumbrado a trabajar de noche, trabajo hace años de noche, pero nunca me apareció algo así. Alvaro mentions that after many years of working the night shift, he's never seen anything like this. Now, this could be a case of pareidolia by some outside lights reflecting onto the glass walls. Regardless, after the many years of looking through those cameras, Alvaro's convinced some sort of entity paid him a visit. An urban explorer from Belgium by the name Sayas went to explore an abandoned campsite with three of his friends when they noticed his handmade sign that states the area ahead is for worshippers only. After checking to see if anyone's there, they make their way back home to avoid any trouble. But as they do, this happens. Fuck, what the fuck? What the fuck? Does anyone even auto or so, huh? Hello? 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 What the fuck? What the fuck? Someone can be heard screaming within the woods as a tall woman runs at them with a hatchet. After running away and hiding in the trees, he calls the police. As police arrive, Sias makes his way over to them when this happens. Nee, 
the woman is found detained, only to be let go with a warning. This is why you shouldn't mess with Ouija boards. A man by the name Nick explains that after attempting to contact whatever might have been causing all the strange activity in his new home, he fears something attached itself to him. I should never fuck with that Ouija board. Something began opening doors in his new home. And aggressively knocking over objects. I came home from work and this was on the floor in the living room. When I picked it up, it automatically wanted to open to this page. Um, like as if somebody looked at this page a lot or something. And I noticed these three burn lines in it. But look what's in the middle. But it wasn't until one day as Nick notices a mysterious video in his gallery, taken without any of his recollection, that things would take a darker turn. In the video, Nick can be seen standing in the dark as he's being filmed. I don't have any answers or explanations for what I'm seeing with my own eyes. It's me. But I don't remember any of that. A terrifying video recently went viral, posted by user Magical Poltergeist, where a woman can be seen in a trance-like state, walking towards a rocking chair, moving on its own. As the woman sits down, she begins to stare at a cross by the TV, then does this. <laughs> As she points an upside down cross, the cross on the wall that was blessed by a priest then given to them, ignites a blaze. The woman explains she has no recollection of ever doing this. Given her strange behavior towards the chair, could it be that whatever was moving the chair possessed this woman? Let me know what you think. User Melody Rose captured a horrifying moment while recording herself talk about a perfume. She's home alone when this happens. Okay, first of all, why didn't anyone tell me no. that if you have sh Yeah? Melody responds to a voice calling her name. Then as she remembers she's all alone, she thinks it might be her cat and continues recording. In the video, the sounds of someone breathing can be heard as another voice laughs and continues to speak to her. She explains she hopes it's her cat since she doesn't have Alexa or any ideas to what could have made those sounds. 